evening. I, um, I'm going to let everybody know in the next couple months I'm going to put together different chapters. I'm not going to try to do it all at once. It will be part one, part two, probably five, six parts to get accomplished. But while playing around looking for fatwood in different trees, if you saw in some of my past videos, I was looking at all kinds of different trees, hemlock, uh, pines, spruce, spruce and balsam, uh, scotch pine to find different sources of fatwood in the geographical location that I'm in. That makes sense to you. Now I don't know whether I dare call what I find in um, a spruce tree fatwood. All I can tell you is that it will light. It, it has rosin in it. It's not as good. Some pine has a fatwood like substance that will light. White pine. Red pine is what I get the fat wood in this area out of. It's what is called red pine. It's uh, most of it in northeast. It does grow, Norwegian pine is another name for it. It does grow naturally, but a lot of it was set out during the Eisenhower reforestation era. And uh, what other trees? If I found it, a little bit of it in uh, hemlock. But that one's inconclusive. The jury's still out on that. We've got to do some more research there when I get time. But I want to do, um, I have a bag somewhere here, right here, of different woods I collected in the woods except for the cherry. I don't have any cherry growing on my property. Um, so I had a piece of a board that was cherry lumber that I got a piece of that out of. White cedar I'm going to do. That'll probably be the first one. I'll, I'll list the softwood. Scotch pine. That has some fatwood qualities to it. Um, throw hardwoods. I'm trying to find softwoods. White pine. It grows here in the northeast. Spruce and balsam, they're going to be done as one. Talked about that before. Hemlock. That's it for the soft, soft woods. Um, the other one I'm going to do is ash, cherry, these are the hard woods. Hard act. We call it here in the Northeast, we call it hard act. I've seen it called ironwood in other places. It's, it's, it's a small, hard tree that grows northeast. That's another piece of ash. I don't need two in here for anything. And walnut. Uh, I got a piece of beech somewhere and I don't know where it went. That wasn't it. That one I just threw was it. Yeah, that's it right there. Beech. It's another nut tree. Yeah, that's beech. So there's five hardwoods at this time and five softwoods that grow in this area. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on red pine with the uh, fatwood. We all know what that does. We really don't need to see me shave off piles of shavings of fatwood and just light it off, light it off. It's fun to do. It works well. And uh, I do want to get out and actually get some birch wood and, and try that too. I'm anxious to try that, see how it works. And there are different things I'm going to do here for you and show you that they do, but it, it's going to take quite a while. Well, this will be coming up throughout the winter here in the basement. And it's when I can get outside, we'll work outside, but there's not enough daylight anymore. Jesus, it gets dark at 4.30 and I don't get around good. Uh, tools I'll be using will be a knife. Hatchet, and steel occasionally, ferro rod mostly, matches, cigarette lighter. You know, the more common things we carry with us to light fires. 